Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Reviews. Welcome to a very sunny Edinburgh and welcome to the McLaren 765LT. So we're here in Edinburgh today to show you the McLaren 765LT. It's a beautiful sunny day and we're here also to cover off the Modball Rally. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for all future content coming very soon for the Modball Rally. Now the owner of the 765 started off his McLaren relationship with a 600LT. He had the 600LT, would you believe it, for three and a half years. Very keen on the heritage of McLaren. He was keeping an eye on the, on the different models that were coming forward and noticed the 675, keeping an eye on the 675. Um, when an opportunity came forward for the 765 or when the 765 was announced, he asked his dealership if he, could, if he could be provisioned a slot and he was very fortunate to get a slot for the 765, hence the car you see here. Being very keen on the history of McLaren, he decided to spec the exterior bodywork in what's called McLaren XP and that XP stands for experimental prototype green so it's in reference to a historical color for the McLaren F1 GTR. Now the owner of the car used to own a Speciale and a Pista. Very interestingly he perceives that the 765 is a better experience than those cars certainly a lot more performant. Other cars that the owner currently owns is a Ferrari 355 GTB manual and also a Ferrari Lusso. To give you an appreciation of the options specified for this car, as I've already detailed, it's colored in experimental prototype green in relation to the F1 McLaren F1 GTR. To show you inside, let me look, just look at this. <laughs> so to give you appreciation of the specification, standard, for example, you get the, the P1 race seats, but these are actually optioned as the Senna seats. So these are the Senna seats. Obviously loads of carbon fiber as standard as you expect with McLaren, the good old carbon tub, which gives great rigidity. This being a Spider, you don't get much difference in rigidity with regards to the Spider and the actual standard coupe model, the standard LT. You can see as we look around, uh, loads of carbon fiber specified inside the cabin orange seat belts. Other MSO options that have been specified in addition to the XP paintwork are 765 embroidered, 765LT embroidered in the headrest. With regards to the exterior of the car, pretty much every carbon fiber option you could specify apart from the rear diffuser. The rear diffuser is kept as standard um, because rear diffusers can get cracked. It's very low as you can see from the rear of the car. So it's very common practice with supercars. People in general don't specify carbon fiber for rear diffusers. It's the same, on, in, the Ferrari, it's the same in the Ferrari world as well. In addition, there's various no cost options that you can get with a McLaren, um, which is quite interesting. You wouldn't get that with other models like Lamborghini and Ferrari. For example, you can upgrade the brakes on these to the Senna brakes. So these has, this has the center calipers, but if you want to upgrade the rotors, it costs an additional £14,000, which is pretty eye-watering, I'm sure you'll agree. That's just to upgrade the rotors. They're already CCDs, they're already carbon ceramic rotors, but to upgrade them to the center rotors would cost you an additional £14,000. 
Now the 765 Spider is a limited edition version of the 720S Spider, but it is actually 80 kilograms lighter than a 720S Spider, would you believe it? Now, with regards to the 765 LT, the non-spider version, the 765 Spider adds an additional 14 kilograms for the roof. Even though the roof is carbon fiber, the mechanism adds an additional 14 kilograms. In addition to the previous MSO options I've already detailed, this car also has an electrochromatic roof, which is pretty cool. As you can see here, you change the different settings, um, you, give it, you change the different electrical charge to the roof and you get different tint capabilities from clear all the way through structured to filtering out the sun so you don't feel the sun's heat coming through to the car. Pretty cool. And the fact that it provides, and the fact that it provides an electrochromatic roof on a folding spider top roof, pretty impressive, I'm sure you'll agree. The only is just folding the roof, as you can see here, it's remote controlled, which is pretty cool. And this is inbuilt, whereas with mine, I've had to use a mod for cars, smart top unit to make my, my roof, uh, to make my roof automated or to, to automate my roof. You see here the operation because it's only 11 seconds to operate the roof you can see the roof comes across very linearly so it's very close to the car when it comes across to reduce the time to latch so just for completeness we're going to show you the roof being opened again as you can see here the top part of the roof moves very near to the actual b pillars of the car this reduces the time it takes for the roof to operate again reducing the time down to 11 seconds Owners of 458 Spiders will know that the roof operates in 14 seconds, which was perceived to be extremely quick, but this now operates in 11 seconds. Many thanks to Ross for bringing this awesome 765 LT out for us to review today. Greatly appreciated. Unfortunately, we were really pushed for time having to drive across the rest of Edinburgh to be able to register for the Modball Rally within a certain time constraint. However, we did manage to capture this great driving content for you, which gives you a true appreciation of the performance of the 765. So the 765 is gone now. Unfortunately, we were very rushed for time, so we had to leave early. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, lots of great content to come. We're spreading our wings now, as you probably noticed, we've, we've done this video on a 765, so we're gonna move across now, and we're gonna incorporate a lot of other heterogeneous car brands. So keep watching, guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure you get subscribed. Cheers, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.